Hello and welcome to this PowerPoint tips and tricks video. In this video I will be showing you the advantages of using kiosk mode for any of your interactive PowerPoint presentations. Here's an example of an interactive slide, the kind that might be used in a teaching or training situation. The man makes a statement then the woman responds. The students have to decide if the response is appropriate or not, that is, good or bad. In this example she gives an inappropriate, bad, response. This is how the slide should work. The students see the woman's response, and give the incorrect answer that it is good. When clicking on the word good, the slide responds like this. Having got the answer wrong, they can move on to the next slide if there is one. Now we can see the similar actions that happen when the students answer correctly. Now here's a slightly different approach where the good and bad words are animated to move across the screen. The students must answer before the words reach the red safe zone. These examples of interactive slides are fine when they are well executed by the person doing the clicking. However, the way many slideshows are set up, allows for the presentation to be spoiled in several ways. Let's look at how this happens. When you open, set up slideshow, from the slideshow tab, you will see that the default setting for show type in the top left corner is, presented by a speaker, brackets, full screen. When you play the slide, you will know that you are in presenter mode because you will see some controls in the bottom left hand corner of the slide. You will also notice the first of the potential problems with presenter mode. After a few seconds of inactivity, your cursor disappears. You have to shake your mouse or touchpad to bring it back. Also, if you accidentally click on any blank part of the slide, you will jump immediately to the next slide, if you have one. If there is not a following slide, you will immediately end the slideshow. This can be a real problem and ruin your presentation. Presenter mode can also ruin an animation. With an inadvertent click, your animation will jump immediately to its finishing point. Like this. So, let's look now at how all of these potential problems can be prevented. It's by applying kiosk mode instead of presenter mode. Just like this, from setup slideshow. Now there are no controls at the bottom, and look, no disappearing cursor. Now, no matter what blank area of the slides you click on, nothing will happen. You can click as many times as you like, and not go to the next slide or end the show. In kiosk mode, only the objects that you have set up as triggers or actions, will make anything happen. It does mean however that if you want to move on to another slide, you must have some kind of next arrow or button to click on. And that's it. That's how kiosk mode can save you any embarrassment when presenting interactive slides. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please like and comment below. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe and click on the bell notifications for more of my tutorials and games content. Thanks again.